888-285-2343 or visit BlueRockEnergy.com. Get free tickets at BridesWorld.com to meet bridal stylists to the stars, Renee Strauss, on January 12th. Brave State Kerry returns to the Middle East today for more talks with Israelis and Palestinians. A Palestinian ambassador is dead in the Czech Republic. Fox News Radio Simon Owen details what happened live. Dave, Ambassador Jamal al-Jamal dying in what's thought to be a bizarre accident. There was an explosion at his residence in Prague earlier. The Palestinian government says it happened after the ambassador opened an office safe that had been sealed for 30 years and recently moved from an old embassy. It's not clear why the safe had explosives inside. It could have been a security measure. <laughs> and Czech police say mishandled Handling could be to blame. The ambassador was taken to the hospital but died a short time later. Dave. Simon, the minimum wage has gone up in 14 states. California will see one of the biggest jumps to eight to nine dollars an hour. And these increases come as Congress and President Obama continue to spar over a call by Democrats and workers to raise the national minimum wage to more than ten dollars an hour. That's Vox Business Network's Joe Link Kent. There's no trading on Wall Street today. The Dow surged 26 percent last year to an all-time high. New Year's Day means a lot of college football there are six bowl games the rose bowl the granddaddy of them all stanford played in the first rose bowl in 1902 losing to michigan 49 to nothing now it plays in the 100th rose bowl trying to win the game for the second year in a row we'll play loose focus and with a chip on our shoulder senior linebacker trent murphy of the cardinal which beat wisconsin last year without tyler gaffney who's 1600 rushing yards this year led stanford into this meeting with an unfamiliar opponent i went to the rose bowl in 1966 1988 and now this one michigan state a Alum, Jim Norman. Led by fast improving quarterback Connor Cook, the Spartans are in the Rose Bowl for the first time in 26 years. Ron Flatter, Fox News Radio. The first two games are underway. Nebraska leads Georgia 7 to 6, UNLV and North Texas are tied 7 7. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News Radio. 570 WSYR. Weather. Quite cold for tonight. We'll have periods of snow, and the snow will last into tomorrow. Accumulating 3 to 6 inches. Low tonight down to 8. High tomorrow, 14. will dip to 6 below zero for tomorrow night, and there still will be some snow around. The snow tapers off early Friday. Brisk and frigid the rest of Friday. Mostly cloudy to high, only 2 degrees. And then we'll dip below zero again for Friday night on 8 below zero. With your accurate with a forecast, I'm meteorologist John Furyk on News Radio 570 WSYR. WSYR FM Solvay, WSYR Syracuse. Hi, I'm Rick Urcioli, president of Summit Planning Group, a registered investment advisory firm and host of the Summit Planning Financial Hour here on 570 WSYR, Saturday mornings at 10. With the market at or close to all-time highs, a chorus of advisors recommending against bonds, and cash paying little to no return, how do you plan an investment portfolio to meet your income needs without risking your security? For more than 30 years, my team at Summit Planning Group has specialized in helping those transitioning towards retirement and those already retired to meet their income needs without undue risk. Whether you recently experienced a job change, are getting close to retirement, or retired now, we can help. We'll sit down with you, review your situation, and create a plan that you feel comfortable with so you can sleep at night knowing your income needs will be met. Give us a call at 425-0344 to schedule your free consultation. That's 425-0344. And for lots of great information, visit summitplan.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial Member FINRA SIPC. You're listening to the best of Rush Limbaugh on the EIB Network. Ladies and gentlemen, the, whatever you think you know, you don't know how bad it is. You do not know. I did not know. Well, I suspect it. You don't know how incompetent Obama is. You really don't know. This is This is breathtaking. What has been learned recently by me and others, do you know, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, greetings, and L. Rushbow here at the EIB Network, 800-282-2882.